What is up, guys? Curtis Russell with the the Soul Dojo E3, another Soul Dojo E3 pre-show for Bethesda. And, of course, I am joined by my man, Jamal Johnson, a.k.a. co-host, J- a.k.a. G. Allen. So many names for you, man. I got to get through all of it. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> appreciate it um so bethesda last year had a very lackluster um e3 press conference they showed wolfenstein of course but it was like everything was skyrim for this skyrim for that that skyrim for vr that skyrim for switch Uh and i think it's time to just let skyrim just rest even though i did play a lot of it this morning um (laughs) i think it's time to just let skyrim do its thing it's on everything it's for everything you could pick up a a, a brick from the yeah. street <laughs> press it and then skyrim will pop yeah. up because it, it's literally for everything but bethesda has been kind of on a roll for the couple uh past couple weeks they've announced rage 2 they announced fallout 76 we heard that arcane studios the developers of dishonored and prey 2 have something in the works um also elder scrolls online got another expansion but let's start let's slow down a little bit let's start about the big reveal that can come out of bethesda project starfield which is a space rpg game from bethesda um jay i don't know how much you heard about this game but in between getting the elder scrolls 6 and fallout 4 how big is another RPG game from Bethesda? A brand new one, something new that we can sink our sink our teeth into. I think uh, I think it'd be pretty amazing. You said it's kind of like a space uh, space type RPG, space type RPG. So I think it'd be pretty uh, yeah cool. Like I said, Bethesda has been really good on the the, the Fallout at least uh, the earlier ones, <laughs> but um <laughs> um and and like I said, we know that. Uh, you know, Elder Scrolls, uh, Skyrim, they've literally years later, you know, you're you're still on it. People are still on people are still just starting these games. So yeah. I think it'll be pretty awesome. Uh one thing about them is that they are constant, consistent, and efficient. So mm-hmm. I don't know much about this game, but guess what? I know that Bethesda, when they do something, they they, they do it right. Right. Uh, also, we're probably hearing a bit of a Doom sequel. Doom did come out about three years ago. People loved it. It was a revamp of one of the best games of all time. Uh, a lot of uh, a, a lot of people show a lot of love for the original Doom because it, it kind of started the the first person shooter. You know what I'm saying? It was the first person you could shoot, and a lot of people say you know it just integrated and it well more innovated from that. Now that's why we have Halo and Call of Duty now. Mm-hmm. Uh. A very fat. It was for VR last year. They 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 said it was for VR. Wouldn't a Doom two just be something that all the Doom fans just need? Yeah, I think they would need love it. Um, like you mentioned, you know, it was one of those games that was just really popular. Um, and I think it's smart, you know, that they took the time, you know, three to four years, and then they bring it out once. So it'll probably be just right on time. It it really would. Uh, also, Fallout seventy six has been a game that even me i've kind of questioned exactly what it is uh everybody says that it is an online game then we're hearing it's a co-op game then we're hearing no it's a base builder no it's this and that finally we're probably going to get some clarification on fallout 76 Mm -hmm. any expectation for fallout 76 jay with with everybody kind of just upset that they think it's going to be a battle royale game or, or maybe even just a multiplayer fallout game when bethesda is supposed to be kind of the single player mm. masters do you think that fallout 76 is they're gonna go down that online route um see it's really tough to say um mm-hmm. because we're talking about bethesda here uh and like i said during bethesda's time in their game making there's been a lot of really popular uh multiplayer games um that have surfaced and really you know shook the nation per se to where everybody char- started trying to jump on board and create a game like it uh destiny mm-hmm. was one of them um you know you have i'm gonna go ahead and say no here i feel confident saying that um they won't at least as far as the battle royale type now they may introduce some multiplayer um in there but then again i think if they do um it won't be something just kind of for it's just a face value thing where they're just trying to earn money, but something that's actually put quality into that fans may just probably may just might appreciate it uh, mm-hmm. even more. So, yeah, 
I think that's right. I think Fallout 76 is going to be a game that it, it might have some online capability, but I think they'll still focus on the story and the single player aspect that we all love from Bethesda and that we all get. I'm very excited for Rage 2. It's a two developers are working on it. I think it's uh not Arcane Studios, it's Avalanche Studios and the original developers of Rage. They're both working on it. We're going to kind of get the we're going to kind of get a Mad Max kind of world. It's going to be super crazy. And I'm really excited for that. Uh, my crazy prediction for Elder Scrolls 6, uh, for Elder Scrolls 6, it is Elder Scrolls 6, actually, that we're going to hear about Elder Scrolls 6. Mm. Now, um, I believe his name is Todd Howard, the guy who is uh, behind the Bethesda. He's like he's like the, the main guy there. Mm -hmm. He's been saying, yo, Elder Scrolls 6 isn't going to come anytime soon. We have two other games in front of that. Mm -hmm. I think Elder Scrolls 6 will get teased, like a small tease, like something so small it just got people, it has people on, kind of on the edge of their seat. What do you think about your crazy prediction? Do you think we're going to hear more about Elder Scrolls 6 or maybe some Wolfenstein or what else? Um, My crazy prediction is that Starfield will have uh, a battle royale. Oh my God. In space. That, <laughs> my, that has been my prediction. The first battle royale game in space. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know how fans of Bethesda are going to even sit with that. <laughs> but, Jay, I really appreciate that very bold and <laughs> very bold prediction, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And make sure you guys are back here for the live Bethesda watch along starting at 8 p.m. Central Time and 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And after that, 30 minutes later, we'll have our post show. Appreciate you guys, Jay. I appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for the E3 show on the Soul Dojo. All right?